Hey guys, Jess, I'm here with my comic reviews of the week, and they are both Image books because we are on the review list now, so thanks Image Comics. Uh, the first one is Little Depressed Boy. Um, I kind of just want to look at it because I love weird indie books with funny art, um, but the more I read it, I like slowly fell in love with the art and the writing and the characters because it reminded me of like me and my boyfriend, which was really cute in its own little way, till the end because the end's kind of sad. Um, but Coolest part of this book, it's really funny and entertaining, and it totally revolves around the nerd culture that we live in, but the main girl character has the same name as me, so it was really, really cool. I loved it. I definitely would give it five out of five nerd skulls. Go read it. All right, and my other book was Graveyard of Empires. It had like a slow start. It was a pretty wordy book, um, but it was really interesting. It was pretty much just about Marines in Afghanistan dealing with people who are like suicide bombers and all this really, really crazy stuff that happens. And there's a huge twist at the end that I didn't see coming and I was just kind of like, holy heck in the world as I read the last page. It was definitely a really good book and I enjoy how it was written. So I'd give this four out of five nerd skulls. You should definitely go pick it up. And it's number one, so easy jumping on point. Hey guys, it's Cubby here with my review this week. I reviewed Alpha Flight Fear Itself, or Fear Itself Alpha Flight. I'm not sure how to read it. Um, but it's the first of eight in this mini series. It's actually leading into another Alpha Flight series, which is awesome if you're Canadian or you like Alpha Flight. Um, personally, I kind of like Alpha Flight, and the book itself was actually really, really good. Um, Del Eaglesham did the artwork, and I love him. I loved his JSA run. Um, it, was, it was really nice looking. Um, it could have looked better. There's certain things and like certain poses that people took that are a little, a little questionable. Um, but other than that, decent looking book. Uh, Story-wise, uh, character-wise, really, really good. There's a lot of conflicts within the team. There's a lot of things that aren't really the way a team should work. Um, a lot of butt heads, um, which is which was kind of nice. Uh, you want to see some conflict in a team book. You don't want everyone just to, you know, run around holding hands and fighting crime. Not only was there a lot of conflict in this book, but a huge, 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 huge thing happened at the end. Uh, there's a traitor on the team. You need to read it to find out. I do not want to give any, anything away, but if you're an Alpha Flight fan, this kind of comes at a surprise. Um, but overall, I give it a solid three out of five uh, nerd skulls. Hey, Steven here with my comic book reviews for this week. We've got two of them. Let's first start with Undying Love, number three. I hadn't read the first two issues, and so I didn't really know what to get into, and at first it seemed kind of like it was just because I'm some kind of shooter. And it was a beautiful book. The art was beautiful. The story development was great. I mean, I felt it was a little bit too short for what it was. Like, it felt like it needed a little bit more substance in it. But I did love how the story developed, the different surprises it threw at you, the, the fact that Undying Love is a perfect title for this comic book. I mean, it was just, it turned out to be a very, very good comic book. Highly recommended. I would give it four skulls out of five. The next one is the Executive Assistant Iris, the hit list agenda, issue number zero. Of course, if it's issue number zero, it's more of a preview kind of one, but very well done. The art was, it was good. It was really good. It wasn't like, oh my goodness, but I still really enjoyed the style they went with. And the story, it's, it's very interesting how they're bringing it up into it, the ideas of how they bring in the main characters and how they just kind of introduce it at the end, setting up the backstory for it. I liked it. I'm definitely going to continue checking it out. I'd give this one four out of five. Hey guys, Bobby here with my comic book reviews of the week. My first one is definitely going to be Invincible. That book is incredible. It's been incredible ever since the beginning. It kind of slowed down the last arc, but it was still good. They asked us, or they made us ask a lot of questions and didn't give us a lot of answers, which is similarly happening in, happening in Walking Dead. So it's kind of upsetting me about the writer Robert Kirkman, but this book answers a lot of questions, even things we haven't wondered in years. So it's definitely a good read. You should check it out. It doesn't answer the one particular one that I have, wh whether uh, Mark is actually the father of the aborted baby. I don't want to give out any spoilers, but I'm definitely, I've definitely been wondering that, and that was still not answered in this issue, unfortunately. But we get a whole bunch of other good stuff, so check it out. I give it five out of five Nerd Skulls. My second review of the week is going to be Green Lantern, the movie prequel. This is the Abin Sur issue, and it is fantastic. I didn't even know a lot of this stuff about Abin Sur. I mean, and I've been reading Green Lantern for years, so it was a very informative issue. Um, you should definitely check it out because it gives you a lot of insight on the character who is going to carry a big part in the movie. So you need to read this issue if you want to know, know a little bit about Abin Sur before seeing the movie. I give it three out of five nerd skulls. Hey guys, my comic review this week is American Vampire Survival of the Fittest. I'm a big Scott Snyder fan who wrote this book, 
And it's actually pretty cool. It takes place in World War II, and it's basically a group hunting down vampires all around the world. And I'm not going to give anything away, but the art is really cool. I like the direction it's uh, going in. I never thought I'd be a fan of a vampire book, especially this day and age with everything going on with vampires glittering and glowing. But it's very cool. It's, it's back to like the old school roots that I enjoyed out of vampire stories. If you guys, it, it, seriously, I, I'd pick this up. You guys have some extra cash. Go out of your way. It's number one. Pick it up. I'm going to give this four out of five note skulls.